Hi, I'm Angie and today I want to talk about this one big question that I get asked a lot and that's how do I use colored cocoa butter? Um, and so yeah, today I want to um, yeah, walk you through how you melt your colored cocoa butter because it comes solid and also a little bit of a troubleshoot um, what happens if you heat it up too high. The most important takeaway from this video is that your colors need to be tempered. It's just like with chocolate. Chocolate needs to be tem tempered, otherwise it will not be shiny, glossy and snappy. Same thing with the colors. They need to be in temper. Let's do this. All right. So I want to talk about two scenarios today. Um, so the first one we're going to talk about is when you buy ready to use colored cocoa butter something like this. The second scenario we will talk about later is when you make your um, colored cocoa butter from scratch or if you screwed up the temper of your ready to use colored cocoa butter. So let's start with this one. Um, if you buy a colored cocoa butter, for example, from Chef Rubber, Roxy and & Rich, and there are multiple other, um, other sources, other brands, um, then it comes pre-tempered. Um, yes, your colors, they need to be tempered, but they are, are already tempered. So your goal is not to kick out your colored cocoa butter out of temper. So let's keep it that way. This means your um, working temperature is about 30, 31 degrees Celsius. And there are two ways to melt it. Because it comes in solid condition. The first way you can um, yeah, melt your colored cocoa butter is with the microwave. Um, that's probably the easiest way for you to do it. I do not do it that way, but I will show you now how to melt it in your, in your microwave. Let's melt some pink quartz. So first remove the lid and usually there's also like a ceiling. Um, also remove that, I already did that. And then we pop this into the microwave for 10 seconds increments. The first 10 seconds, not much has happened here. It's still solid, it is a little bit warm, but you want to make sure that you don't burn it because this plastic, it will melt in your microwave and then you have a whole mess. That's the second 10 seconds. Um, still not a lot of liquid, so let's do another one. So it took me about one minute and 30 to get this completely melted. Like it's not completely melted, but most of it. So I'm just kneading it a little bit and I'll check the temperature with my IR thermometer. And I have 30 degrees Celsius, so now I would be ready to use it. The second option, and that's how I uh, melt my colored cocoa butter, is in a hot water bath. I do it that way because in my commercial kitchen, the microwave is really, really far away from me. And I have like a hot water pot either way, like in front of me, because that's how I temper my chocolate. So that's why I like using a hot water bath. And that's what I want to show you now. So we put on the lid. And here I have my hot water and basically I just add my colored cocoa butter in there for like maybe 30 seconds to a minute depending on how hot your water is. I never melt my colored cocoa butter completely. I melt it to about 50%. So the solid parts that are um, left in the colored cocoa butter will reseed or retemper uh, my melted chocolate. So just in case. Um, and yeah, like once I have 50% melted, I'll just use it. Watch out because water and chocolate, not a good thing. Make sure no water gets into your chocolate or your colored cocoa butter because then you've screwed it up. And I would say that's also one of the main reasons probably why people like to use their microwaves um, to melt it. And then I'll take it out and I just, I'm just drying it a little bit and then shake, 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 shake. Well, 
you can't really see it but it is melted and also same thing working temperature 30 to 31 degrees Celsius now let's come to our second scenario let's say you heated up your colored cocoa butter um, too high and nobody wants bonbons like this because this will be one of the reasons if your colored cocoa butter is not in temper um, or your chocolate isn't in temper it might end up looking like this nobody wants that it is really frustrating so we need to make sure that our colors are still in temper when we use it let's say you heated up your colored cocoa butter too high you screwed it up I mean it happens that you kick out your cocoa butter out of temper or you make your colors from scratch so they are not tempered so we also need to temper our colored cocoa butter that we made from scratch so there are two ways you can do it the first one that's not how I do it <laughs> but I just want to mention it really quickly you melt your cocoa butter to 40 degrees Celsius and then let it cool down to 30 31 degrees Celsius which is your working temperature to cool it down you can use um, yeah, some really cold water or me maybe even um, some ice um, just yeah to fasten up the process but make sure if you um, do it that way that you knead it and shake it um, pretty much all the time until it has reached the 30 31 degrees Celsius so that's not how I do it <laughs> I do it differently. Um, I have a whole video about it, but I just want to um, yeah, talk about it really quickly. So first I will melt my colors and then I'm using cocoa seed that I also make from scratch. I will also have a um, link in the description down below how to make it from scratch. So those are cocoa seeds. And I'm just grating it really, really fine. And this will temper my colors. You do not need to make your um, yeah, cocoa butter seeds from scratch. You can also buy it. Um, I just forgot how it's called, um, but I have a link down in the description below. And so what I'm doing now, um, once my colors have melted to about 50%, I will add the cocoa seed and shake it really, really well. And then um, I'll wait until I have reached the 30, 31 degrees Celsius and it's back in temper. So here's my color. I'll just dry it a little bit and give it like a really really good shake and then I open it and just add all of the seeds and then I'll give it another really really good shake and then I'm shaking 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 Now it's ready to use and you can do this with your um, DIY colors or like I said when you screwed up one of your ready to use colors if they're just out of temper. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I hope this helped. Um, if you have questions you can leave them down in the description below or of course you can also shoot me a DM on Instagram and that's it. Uh, let's hope for shiny glossy bonbons. Okay have a good one. Bye.